What made you say I can't believe I have to argue this? Me. I'm colorblind. Someone. No you aren't. Me. Go away. I'm a high school teacher. I taught a very unwilling group of grade 9 students this semester who displayed an alarming level of entitlement and apathy to most things going on in the world around them. I frequently had to have many conversations I thought I would never have. My favorite was on the day of a unit test. One of the slackers wasn't prepared at all because he hadn't done any of the class work leading up to the test, it was open book. He spent the entire test period sitting there, staring at his page. At the end of the period he handed me a blank test, I asked him if he realized what handing me a blank test meant, I just wanted to establish he knew he'd get zero so that he didn't flip out later. He says, yeah, I'm just gonna finish this tomorrow in class. I chuckle, because I thought he was joking. You can't finish it tomorrow, why not? Me, surprised I have to explain this. Today was the test. The time to write the test was today. Tomorrow we are moving on to something else, so you can't write the test tomorrow. You've already seen the test today, so if you write it tomorrow, it's no longer a test of your abilities, but a test of your ability to memorize and prepare answers. Him, extremely peed off and disbelieving. Well, I want to write it tomorrow. I didn't want to write it today. What? In 4th grade, we had a test on fact or opinion. One of the questions was, the chocolate cake is delicious. Fact or opinion? I marked opinion. I was marked wrong. When I asked about it, she said, well, it's a fact that the cake is delicious. I asked, what if I don't like chocolate cake? She said, do you not like chocolate cake? I said I did. And she asked what the problem was. I argued with the teacher over this for weeks. I never got my points back. HRMPH. I'm 37 years old now and I still get irritated remembering that. Overall I really like that teacher, but oh my god, what a strange, keg related blind spot. I was at the DMV when I was about 8 months pregnant, definitely visibly pregnant, but I carried really high with him. An old man asked me when I was due, I said beginning of next month and he tried to tell me I couldn't possibly be due that soon. I brushed it off as being friendly, albeit misguided, but then he said you young girls can't even figure out when you got pregnant, and expect the baby to come when you wanted to. I just stood there kinda dumbfounded, and said well, my abjin told me he's due then and the guy said well your doctor is a quack, you aren't that pregnant, okay. I studied in China for a while. One of my friends was moving out of town and asked me to round up any stuff she forgot and send it to her parents in Europe. Sure thing. Packed her stuff in a box and went to the post office. Me. Hello. I'd like to send this to Europe. Postal clerk. Okay. Which country? Me. Slovenia. PC. There is no such place. Me. Um. I'm pretty sure there is. My friend is from there. PC. Can't be. There is no country by that name. Me. Yes, there is. It's located east of Italy and the capital is Ljubljana. PC. It's no use. Me. Would you please humor me and check? It's spelled X in Chinese. PC. Sourly. That'll be 114 yuan. To be fair, it's only been a country for a couple decades, so I could easily see that causing some confusion. A friend of mine was convinced that a coach with a bigger engine would beat a car with a smaller engine in a race even if both were doing the same exact speed. Yes, and 20 pounds of bricks weighs more than 20 pounds of feathers. Every time I agree with someone and then have to argue to make them realize I agreed with them. I was 22, my brother 24, he asked if he could borrow my battery charger. I said it was broken, I'd thrown it out. Cue an escalating argument that things don't just break. I had to have broken it somehow. Not that it was even any of his freaking business, given that the item had been mine. As the argument escalated it became obvious that, at 24, he hadn't heard of, say, metal corrosion, or heat cycles, wear and tear, or component life. He insisted, to the point of shouting in fury, that things only break because a person inflicts damage on them for example, vandalism. Or carelessness. He seemed to believe that if you don't drop an electronic item or get it wet or otherwise damage it then it will last forever. We'd argued about many things over the years, but the denial of entropy was a new one on me. 
A friend thought that Hitler was captured and appeared at the Nuremberg trials. To top it all off, they were doing a presentation about the trials at that time and should have known this already. Would be a rather interesting what if scenario though. Playing Trivial Pursuit, I answered Muhammad Ali, and was denied the answer because the card said Cassius Clay. The counter argument was that when he changed his name, he became a different person. Frick you. Roman and Greek gods were pretty much the same gods, but had different names. He kept saying no until I asked him what Apollo's name was in Roman. For anyone who don't know, it's Apollo still. I had to argue there was never a point in history when Korea ruled the world. Maybe he meant the world of Starcraft. When I was in college I had to argue with a class of people that water expands as it freezes and becomes ice. As we all know, icebergs sink. In a college trigonometry class I had to argue with the entire class that there were in fact infinitely many rectangles. The entire class said there were only two, horizontal and vertical. I tried to explain that rotating a shape didn't change it, but the class didn't agree. I said there were infinitely many rectangles because a rectangle changed shape every time you extended it in one direction. The debate started with one guy telling me that I was wrong and pretty soon the entire class was agreeing with him. To settle the debate, the professor asked us to raise our hands if we thought there were infinitely many rectangles. I was the only one who raised my hand. He then said, there are, in fact infinitely many rectangles for the exact reason that he said, and continued the lesson. I was right. My mother and her four sisters had two feuds that each lasted for over a year, all about the stupidest stuff. The first was whether Yoohoo, the chocolate milk drink, was really Yoohoo, or, as my aunt demanded, was Yahoo. The second was about one of Sheryl Crow's songs, where the lyrics go, all I wanna do is have some fun, or, according to that same aunt, was all I wanna do is chew some gum. I got into a flat earth argument with someone. I didn't believe these people actually existed and I wasn't prepared. My go-to was if we started digging right now, how deep would we have to go before we fall through the hole and into the abyss? He said my shovel would melt. I said so the earth's core is still there? Is that flat and he said no. I just imagined a pop jet with an internal temperature of 100 billion degrees. Thanks. How to spell my own name. My teacher in middle school insisted I was spelling my name wrong and would write it wrong on all my papers. After a few weeks I gave up and just let her do it. The real kicker is I have a pretty average name. There's a couple different spelling variations, but mine is the most common. I had a security guard one place I work argue that my name was Sarah. It's not. He told me it's just a different version of Sarah. It's not. He's not even the only person I've had that argument with. The number of people out there who think you don't know your own name. One of my more privileged friends couldn't understand that I didn't have enough money for something. He wanted me to go to Vegas with him and hang out. He just didn't get that I just didn't have enough money. It was impossible to argue for something that you never would have thought needed an argument at all. First day of history in high school. We were given a sheet of paper with a map of the UK and told to write down significant moments in the history of Scotland. I wrote down Hadrian's Wall as that signified the difficulty and ultimate failure of Rome's attempt to conquer Scotland. My teacher told me that I was wrong because Hadrian's Wall wasn't physically within Scotland's current day borders, so it doesn't count. I argued saying it doesn't matter where it physically was, it answered the question she gave us. We argued back and forth about it for a good 5 minutes while my class sat in silence. In the end I gave up and accepted defeat. I didn't like history class after that. Thinking about it, I should have just put the Antonine Wall. Dang it. She gave you a map of the whole UK, which would imply things that happen in England are a key battle of Flodden, crowning of any of the stewards in England. Your teacher was just a jerk. Why it wasn't safe for a baby to chew chew on a size D batteries. In second grade a kid and I were drawing and coloring a picture. When it came to the sky, the kid was drawing with a dark blue crayon and all I was thinking is but it's daytime. What is wrong with this kid? I brought it up to him and he insisted that he was right and my light blue crayon was wrong. So, he read the label of his crayon saying that it is blue and the sky is blue. Therefore, he wins. But, in a crazy turn of events, 
I look down at my crayon label and see what it says and just look up with the biggest grin on my face. Mine is called sky blue. Still the highlight of my life. You used up all your luck in that one moment. This dude tried to convince me that the Star Wars movies were based on the books. Dumb, but possible. I pulled out the book, showed him the earliest publishing date, 1978, whereas the movie came out in 77. The case closed right? Nope. Proceeded to reach until I gave up and stopped talking. Was talking to a Tinder match. Everything is cool so we exchange numbers and begin texting more. At some point the topic of outer space came up and she told me she doesn't believe in astronauts. I thought she was joking at first but then I realized she was 100% serious. I tried to argue with her but quickly decided it wasn't worth it and just stopped talking to her. In my junior year of high school in my history class my teacher told us we were going to practice debating that day. I and another kid were picked to go first. And this is how the exchange went. Teacher. Okay so the topic here is slavery. Is it good or bad? Tommy you go first. Tommy. Well I think slavery is bad because it killed a lot of people. Me. Well I also think slavery is bad. Teacher. You can't have the same side as your opponent. I proceeded to make the best argument I could debating for slavery and was then sent to the principal's office for my racist remarks. Frick that teacher. In US. Speaking to a US lawyer, had a 10 minute argument over whether the US has an official national language, we do not. I had to google it to settle the dispute, but even then it took another maybe 3 minutes of me going no, you're literally just wrong in this. I can't explain the difference between an official language and a lingua franca any other way. You're a lawyer for Chris Aches to end things. Lingua franca, well whatever our national language is, it's definitely not French. One of my auntie's friends opened her bible and demanded, show me where the cavemen are, after you show me where the kangaroos are. My friend gets mad at me when I say I don't like Fortnite after trying the game, stating I hate it to be popular interesting. I have a friend, well used to have a friend that scolded me for playing games he didn't like. Having a baby is not going to automatically change your life for the better, or fix your dysfunctional relationship. That Saudi Arabia is not one of the safest places on earth. Well it's safer than a few places, like the Chernobyl reactor or the inside of a volcano. One of my friends believes that there exist no shadows on the moon because the sun is shining from all angles onto it. That is also one reason for him to think that the moon landing is staged. He believes that the landing happened though but way later. That Spanish means someone something related to Spain and not generic Spanish speaking person. A Peruvian isn't Spanish. For frick's sake. The time I didn't fake throw the ball to my dog. When your boyfriend argues that the only way to know for sure that you don't want a rug is by buying one. That dongs do not affect the structural integrity of bags unless you're literally hung like a horse. Nah bro I can destroy a vag so it's not good for anyone but me again. I didn't make that much of an effort arguing the point, but here it is. Changing your mind isn't a manipulation tactic. Just because you've felt differently in the past, doesn't mean you're locked into a viewpoint forever. It's ridiculous and incredibly arrogant to assume that I'm just saying that my viewpoint on major life events haven't actually changed, but that I'm somehow telling you about it to manipulate you. Ridiculous. I have had a few people come at me with this idea that I'm disingenuous because I have changed my mind on some things that I used to strongly believe. I explain that I'm legitimately convinced now of the other viewpoint because I have learned more about it. They look at me like they have never had that experience. Crazy. How to pronounce Ake? My college professor pronounced it Ake and I told her it was Acai. After going back and forth for a bit, she said, I know how it's pronounced. So it would be best if you'd stop arguing with me. Show her that when it's properly spelled, the C is actually a sedilla. C sedilla, which changes the hard C to a soft C, which is pronounced like an S. Took my girlfriend, now wife, to a local hockey game about 7 years ago. Admission was $5 person. Handed the guy at the table a $20. Guy seems distracted, but hands me two tickets. 
I also be need my change I said patiently. What change he replied. In a turdish manner. I gave you a $20. No. You gave me a $10. To this day. I want to track this guy down and punch his goddamn stupid mouth so hard his teeth leave a permanent impression on the back of his lips. In AP Chem in high school our teacher gave us a throwaway question for an extra credit point. Which is heavier, a pound of lead or a pound of feathers? I argued with one of my friends after the test for way too long before just walking away from her because she couldn't understand. Nice move not telling us which side you were arguing. You get twice the amount of karma this way. If you were more specific, you'd only get the upvotes from those of us who actually know that it's obviously the lead. I had an interview where I was asked a series of critical thinking logic problems. One of them, I like to use every now and then, and the interviewer said that he and his wife have been arguing about it for months. The problem is as follows. You have a bat and a ball. The bat cost $1 more than the ball. The total cost for the bat and the ball was $1.10. How much did the ball cost? Simple. X plus. X plus 1. Equals 1.10. 2x equals 0 0.10, x equals 0 0.05. In other words, the ball cost 5 cents. So many people keep trying to convince me that the ball cost 10 cents. My best friend and I had an animation project as our assignment. We could work in groups, and we had the end of the year to finish it. Our art style was low poly. Couple of months later. We were running out of time on the animation project and had about a month to complete it and we had barely done enough. This was because we had to cover other works between the animation. So, while we get on with it creating models for the setting, I go to my best friend to check up on how's the work coming along. Everything seemed fine and dandy, until I notice one object in high poly count. I tell him to reduce it because the poly is too high. He then goes on to say, why does that matter? You may guess where this is going. After reminding of the low poly sty, he just goes on to say, I don't remember agreeing to this. We did a presentation on this, mentioned art style. He even wrote the art style down on document, but refuses to check because he thinks he right. Good thing I also had his word document and showed him. After the absolute evidence I give, after all that, this dong monkey says I manipulated him to thinking the art style was agreed upon by both of us. But really it was just me choosing that it was agreed. Which I did choose art style, but we both agreed to it. I was like, frick it, there isn't anything left to say but one thing. You know what? Do whatever you want. I can't be bothered arguing about something we already agreed upon. He goes back to his desk a little peed. After about half an hour he comes back to me saying I was right. I literally didn't want to waste my breath, and just told him to get on with it. Ugh. You freaking dummy. If you pull the pin on the grenade without removing the safety clip, you're not attacking the enemy. You're helping them attack us. My sanity. R.I.P. 3 How perverts and gay people are, in fact, different things and not comparable. Our house only has one bathroom. I had to poop really bad and my daughter was taking forever. When I asked her to hurry up she told me I should just go poop in the backyard. I spent 2 minutes telling her all the reasons why that wasn't reasonable. I couldn't believe I was having to argue about whether or not I should poop in my backyard. When she finished she flushed, came out, looked at me like I was a huge idiot, and told me she was just kidding. Trolled by a 6 year old. When a chef at the restaurant I work at wanted to try and tell me that the frozen rolls he heated up were just fine to put out on a table, even though they were still ice cold in the middle, he yelled at me about questioning his 25 years of cooking experience, to which I replied with 25 years of experience, you should be able to heat up some dang rolls properly, there's no fixing stupid. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.